Hello friends, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Why don't you go down, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss any episodes. For my fans and subscribers, thank you very much for the patronage. I really do appreciate it. Got a treat for you today. Today's episode is, What Do You Mean Christianity Was Invented? So, I know the Christians aren't going to like to hear this, but the Gospels were not written by eyewitnesses. The first Gospel was actually the Gospel of Mark, and it was not written until 80 CE. The rest of the Gospels then followed. The events the Gospels recount are partially confirmed and partially refuted by a great historian who lived as a contemporary of many events described in the Gospels. Who was this historian who lived at the time of the birth of the Jesus story? Not Jesus, the Jesus story. Flavius Josephus was born in 37 CE under the birth name Joseph ben Mattathias to a priestly family. In 62 CE, he went to Rome to free some priests, but when he got back to Jerusalem in 65 CE, the Jews were in revolt, mainly due to Roman abuses. This hastened the growth of Jewish Messianic movements, but more on that a little bit later. In 66 CE, Jewish rebels took the fort of Masada, and Josephus was appointed the commander of Galilee. However, this galvanized the Romans. In 67 CE, Cornered in a cave, the rebels made a pact to end their lives, but Josephus survived. The Romans, led by Vespasian, took him hostage. He decided to reinterpret the Messianic prophecies, in which Vespasian became Messiah, and then he joined the Romans. Although he acted as a go-between, with the revolutionaries, he was ultimately unsuccessful and had to watch the destruction of the temple and the defeat of the Jews. Nero killed himself in 68 CE, after which Vespasian became Caesar. Because Josephus had foretold correctly that Vespasian would become emperor, he was freed and became a Roman citizen. He also adopted the Vespasian family name Flavius. Josephus wrote a history of the war and completed it in 78 CE. He also wrote the Antiquities of the Jews, completed in 93 CE. Although he played an ambivalent role, his works are considered as authoritative by historians. These works are key to understanding a time in history that has repercussions down to this very day. Josephus and his father were contemporaries of Pontius Pilate, and Josephus' father was an important Jew of the Maccabean line, yet he makes no mention of the Jesus movement. He mentions the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Essenes, but not the Jesus movement. Huh. Wonder why. It's not only strange that as an historian, he did not mention the Jesus movement, but it is also strange because he himself tells us that he had a religious curiosity and he tried all the sects of the day, the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Essenes. If 
the Jesus movement was an important sect at the time, why didn't Josephus mention it with the others? He even tells us himself that because of his love of knowledge, he tried all three sects. If the Jesus movement existed then, why didn't he try it? He spent three years with one named Bannus, who sounds suspiciously like John the Baptist, who was supposed to be the forerunner of Jesus. How is it, then, that he makes no mention of the Jesus movement? He does, however, mention a fourth sect. This sect was not founded by Jesus, but by Judas the Galilean. At any rate, this Galilean sect bears little resemblance to Christianity as practiced either anciently or in modern times. It does seem that some ideas were borrowed from each sect. Therefore, we must conclude that at the time he wrote, there was no Jesus, later known as Christian, movement. We do know that the Gospels were later traditions, not eyewitness accounts, as Christianity would have us believe. As I have said before, Mark was written in around 80 CE. The Gospel of Mark, which scholars agree was the first Gospel to be written, was not penned until around 80 CE, and none were written in Hebrew or Aramaic. Why then should we believe these reports over Josephus. Having addressed the qualifications of Josephus, let's turn to those of the Gospel writers. The quote-unquote apostolic writings contain many contradictions, which by itself is enough to dismiss them. For example, there are many examples of false quotes from the Old Testament. In addition, these writings contain many misunderstandings and misapplications of Old Testament texts. Since the Gospel writers are pinning traditions, it is unreasonable to expect the historical accuracy we get from Josephus, who not only had access to first-hand accounts, but also to records as the governor of Galilee. However, we can't conclude that they are all made up. They could have grown from seeds of truth. So the best way I can explain this is by way of the telephone game. Um, you know, you may not mean to garble um, something that somebody told you, but you do for whatever reason. Nobody is there to correct you. Um, and even though you have tried your best to relay the information as accurately as possible, you still did not relay accurate information. Now, that is not to say that you lied. Despite the contradictions between Josephus and the Gospel writers, and between the Gospel writers, there is a broad general statement of agreement such that we can safely conclude that, at least to some degree, they relied on Josephus. When I pick this up next time, I will be starting with an examination of these broad general statements of agreement. That's actually a good place for me to stop. 
So I will pick it up next time. There will be a part two. So be on the lookout for that. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button, press the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I come out with new content, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, PayPal, and website links are in the description. Best way to reach me is Twitter. Next best is email. Uh, please leave comments in the comment section. Not only do I love hearing from you, but it also triggers the YouTube algorithm. Also, I choose my comment of the week for my Saturday live streams from the edited content on my channel. Keep learning and searching for truth. Here are a few videos from my library. If you have not watched them yet, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Until next time, friends, stay safe and goodbye.